Hello, everyone. Thanks for tuning back in once again to the original Queen Amadad Shakur show. I'm your host, Queen Amadad Shakur. So as you're coming in, please feel free to go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Be sure to click that notification bell and click the word all so you're notified each time the Queen Goddess goes live. Okay. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Queen Amadai Shakur. You can also follow the Queen Amadai Shakur fan page and follow me on Twitter. All right. So I'm sitting here trying to relax and enjoy my day, you know, because I know that many of you are out celebrating the 4th of July, uh, but the devils just never seem to rest. And so I guess neither can I. So there has been another mass shooting. So let's get into it. Uh, six people are dead, more than two dozen hospitalized in a mass shooting at Highland Park on the 4th of July during a parade. Now the shooter is being sought. So they say the shooter appeared to have fired a high powered rifle from a rooftop, according to police. Uh, they say this doesn't happen here. Uh, that's what a witness said who ran to, ran to safety with their family. Uh, the six people were killed and more than two dozen others wounded when the gunman used a high powered rifle from a rooftop on people attending the Highland Park 4th of July parade. Now, authorities continue to hunt Monday, uh, Monday afternoon for the shooter, and the offender still has not been apprehended thus far. Uh, this is what Christopher Christopher Covelli of Lake County Sheriff's Office says, and the Lake County Major Crimes Task Force, uh, they said this during a news conference just hours after the shooting. Now, the gunman used this high-powered rifle, they say. Uh, he was very discreet and very difficult to see. He called the crime random. That's what they say, and very intentional, a very sad day. Um, it appeared that the gunman had used a ladder to get to the top of the building, to the roof. Uh, they said the FBI asked that anyone who had video of the shooting or possible information about the shooter call the toll-free tip line at 1-800-CALL-FBI. Uh, that's 1-800-CALL-FBI. That's what it says. Um and they say as of 3.30 p.m., authorities said the shooter was still being sought, but said they'd made progress towards finding him. I don't know what kind of progress that is, but uh, they were urging anyone to shelter in place who was within the bounds of Green Bay Road uh, to Laurel Avenue and St. John's Avenue to Elm Place. Uh, so I'm going to show some footage because this is just all so nefarious. I mean, these devils just do the most. OK, now I heard another report that it was uh, the person who did this was allegedly a white male uh, between the ages of 25 and 35. Or I'm sorry, between the ages of 18 to 35, I do believe. So I'm going to share my screen. Uh, this is a clip from the parade when people started to scatter. They also reported that a man had a grown son who was in a wheel, wheelchair and he had to flee with his son in the wheelchair. And at one point it actually tumbled over. This is just all so deplorable. I mean, this is absolutely sickening. People out there with their children, their infants and all of that, trying to enjoy themselves, probably elderly people out there too. And then they have to take off running for their lives because some idiot wants to cause mayhem and mischief. It's all so crazy, honey, but this is the world we live in. Uh, let me share this clip of this other uh, news coverage. Everyone, please get those likes up. Please like and share. Thank you in advance. Commander on scene. Uh, I was present at approximately 1014 when this started. There was an active shooter incident that occurred in downtown Highland Park during our 4th of July holiday parade this morning. This was an active incident and all individuals are still urged to shelter in place at this time. Highland Park Police and numerous federal, state and local law enforcement agencies are searching for the suspect. The suspect is currently described as a male white, approximately 18 to 20 years old, with longer black hair, a small build, and wearing a white or blue t-shirt. A firearm has been recovered from the scene. We have secured the perimeter around downtown, downtown Highland Park and are continuing our searches. At this time, two dozen people have been transported to Highland Park Hospital. Six are confirmed deceased. This morning at 1014, our community was terrorized by an act of violence that has shaken us to our core. Our hearts go out to the families of the victims during this devastating time. On a day that we came together to celebrate community and freedom, we're instead mourning the loss, the tragic loss of life and struggling with the terror 
that was brought upon us. While we've all felt the burden of this terrible act, I want to pause and thank the first responders who ran towards the danger to render aid during this active shooter situation. We saw individuals who responded selflessly and put themselves at risk to save others. We've had an outpouring of support from federal, state, county, and fellow municipalities of resources and offers of condolences and concern, and we will avail ourselves of everything that they offer to us immediately. Well, there you have it, folks. Just nefariousness all around. Also deplorable and clearly sad, okay? It's just a darn shame that people can't even go out and try to enjoy themselves without some idiot doing something like this. Uh, very sad. So anyway, there you have it. And my mistake, uh, the person that did the shooting is apparently between the ages of Caucasian male, between the ages of 18 to 20, not 35, 18 to 20. Uh, so I hope they catch him. I hope they do. And uh, anyway, that's the news for now. I want to thank you all for tuning in. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Queen Amadaj Shakur. I mean, this is just all so crazy. I'm sitting home relaxing, honey, pruning my plants, okay? Trying to enjoy my day off. At least I thought it was going to be a day off. Uh, you know, like I said, because many people are out celebrating and they're clearly not going to be on YouTube. But for those of you who are, you already know that I'm going to keep you informed on anything nefarious that's going on. So everybody, just please be careful. Make sure you're looking over your back. Make sure you have your weapons to protect and defend yourself. And just always be consciously aware and alert of your surroundings because these devils don't take a day off. All right. They do not take a day off and we don't have time to just be wandering around here, not paying attention with our head in the clouds, looking at cell phones and all those things. Pay attention to everything that you're doing and what's going on around you. With that all being said, I wish you all love, peace and prosperity. And I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. And I will talk to you all again soon.